Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Destroy the Monoliths. Um, I want to, I definitely want to check out a lot of the new content. Um, and honestly, just, I guess, get, get into completing the game for once. Because I actually haven't completed the game yet. So, <clears throat> very, uh, very curious what the full game like decrease the reload duration of building action. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna go for our overclocking. Um, but yeah. So I figured this would be a good opportunity with the new content and everything like that. I feel like it would be a good time to uh, complete the game and we'll give it a try. Oh yeah, I forgot I have the grenades, so I can just use those instead. For bleeding. Resources here, okay. I think what I'm gonna try to do is set up this thing as soon as possible. We can get a, we can get like an ore generator like right here, and then, and then just kind of get some resources early on. Obviously, we do need to be careful of our defenses as well. There's a monolith literally right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to set up some defenses. <laughs> I think here probably soon. Yeah, otherwise these guys are just gonna keep kind of chipping away at my base. It's not good. So I'm gonna. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put that thing right there. I'm gonna carve out this area a little bit more, just to kind of give it some more space to actually shoot. Okay, that guy ended up with one. Yeah, this grenade thing is actually really nice. Um, I'm loving this thing for mining. Definitely gonna have to try to see if I can find some new stuff, though. I'm not sure if the grenade does do. Oh, I wish I remember what stuff it actually do. I mean, I, I know that he talked about, uh, um, like new weapons, new relics, all that stuff. I'll have to see if I can find some of the new content, though. Um, obviously, there's, like, the, the Doom Relics, but... Obviously, yeah, that's that's part of the new stuff. If I just hit you guys with grenades... Probably isn't the best way to go about it, but interesting strategy, I would say. Um, okay. Pick up another ore drill. Definitely gotta be careful because. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's not the right thing. There we go. I keep forgetting about my dash. I always forget that I have a dash. Okay. I think let's try to kind of carve out this area a little bit more. It seems like there's a lot more resources right here, so... 
That that laser should, for the most part, be able to kind of sustain the base while while I'm over here mining. I'm hoping it will at least. Okay, okay. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. shield instead of just taking these shots in the face. Please be some resources. Okay. Just getting tired of just getting enemies in those loot boxes. I actually wanted to get some resources for once. Leave me alone. I'm just mining. I'm just trying to live out my dreams of being a Minecraft YouTuber, okay? How much health are you at? You're at okay, you're at uh, actually a good amount of health still. I'm surprised that his health hasn't gone down too much. Might end up needing to put another one of those guys down. I'm not sure. Like another one of the laser turrets. I'm not sure though. don't need to just keep using the bombs. I just like using the bombs because they're fun. Or the, the grenades, I should say. They're just fun to use. I don't know why. They just are. Yeah, I'm gonna... Okay, come on. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll just put another one down. Okay, we're gonna clear out this area of everything basically, and then we can start working on destroying the monoliths now that we have a good amount of resources. Um, actually, I'm gonna clear out this part as well. Alright. So I can put him like. I didn't mean to do that. Do that. And then do... Put those guys back there. Let's see, what do we get? Grenade turret, tinkerer. Actually, yeah, that would be that would be really good, especially for this area right here. Uh, I need okay, ten more. Left. Oh my gosh! Look at all the. See, this is why uh, this is why I build those things. It's because you, you get so many resources. Like it's ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna just surround him with that. And then we can put the tinkerer down here soon. You have to be careful though. Like, you don't want to get too greedy with the resources because otherwise, enemies just get so strong that, like, it's really difficult to kill them. And but at the same time, you also 
Well, to have enough resources to be able to have a an adequate defense. So, or is yield a healing or minions drop one more healing or. I'm gonna go with that, actually. Drop a healing over every three hits they take. We'll go with that one. Do I actually have an idea for how I want to do this? I think it's, it's going to be a pretty interesting idea. I'm going to need some more resources though. But I'm curious if like... Because, yeah, see, this thing has healing arms, right? So... And you could use the Tinkerer to collect the healing arms. Okay, so I don't know if you guys see where I'm going with this, but... If I could have like an area set up where these guys, where I use ores to heal my heal my guys, that's kind of the idea that I'm having right now. So. Gonna use a. This is such a greedy way of doing it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I actually think this is pretty interesting. I think this is a very like creative way. Oh, I didn't put down. Oh, put down matter matter generators instead of the ore generators. Oh, I didn't mean to destroy the drill. Yeah, these things are a little bit more expensive than those matter generators, but it's fine. Grab all the resources from here. That's a lot of resources. Holy crap, yeah, that's a lot. Okay. And then let's go this way. Oh yeah, these guys are getting quite far. It's fine. Go this way. Grab the resources that are being produced from here. And then we could get like a tinkerer and put him here. He'll be collecting all that. And in the process, let's kind of expand this area out. Getting healed by the Tinkerer right here. So, also, I'm going to try to go around this way. Put another laser gun right there. expensive setup, but at the same time, I feel like it actually works pretty well. But 
Like, in theory, it should work actually really well, but I guess we'll find out how well it actually is going to be working. Okay, now let's go this way. Let's get over to the other... Um, other one. And across this way, though. There's going to be a little bit more room to work with. So a bit more uh, free real estate over here. This is the area that we're going to work with. So, but yeah, first of all, we're going to have the matter generator. Or matter generator, I should say. Why did I do that? Okay. Or not matter generator, but more generator. Have those there. And then we'll have the tinker. And I just need to uh, make sure that I keep collecting the resources and everything. Oh my gosh. Let's exchange for uh, auto repairs and insurance action. I'll go with that one, I guess. Give me a Let's see, what do we get? Reinforced walls. Attack. We can go with that, yeah. Get rid of the king bird. Let me use that. Oh my gosh. That was a lot of resources. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Um. Yeah, then you have the market there. So. How far out does this thing go? Okay, it, yeah, it will be able to go there. Okay. Can it reach there as well? There we go. Have that there. And then there's this like this. And then we can go around this way. And have a bomber right there. So yeah, the ores will be will be there to repair the building. Area next sector secure. Okay, yeah, mission available. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go with that. Ooh, okay. I definitely should have probably gone for the upgrade that allows me to keep re like 10% of resources. I didn't think about it, but yeah, I definitely should have gone for it. As long as I, you know, I'm getting resources from this thing, then we should for the most part be okay, I think. Oh my gosh, this really isn't a city of things. This is ridiculous. Okay, well, they're going for the core already. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
Okay, I need to get the lasers now. Before my core takes too much damage. Oh, I can't have it too close to the core, okay. Um, I'll just put it there. Just with the, with the maze and everything around, it's kind of hard to find a good spot for the, for the lasers. Because everywhere is just like covered, it's blocked by walls. Actually, it might come to my... show up so I can buff them. This whole maze area is kind of weird. Like half the time they can't even get to uh, get to like where the enemies are, or get to where my towers are. I should say. But I mean, at least it distracts them. See, like they can't they can't even hit my stuff because they're just blocked. I could use, oh, okay. Ah, I like that, I like that, okay. Can I put a... Here, okay. And we're gonna, we're gonna put that thing. We're gonna have a guy there. Probably a guy there as well. And then we'll put these guys back here. So they can't do anything, they're just kind of stuck there. Um, I think I still will go for the generator thing just for just kind of just for the sake of having it mostly. just to have something that's actually going to be pretty good. So I think that would be good thing. 
even if it's not really going to be used for healing, it's still, you know, it's still going to be good to have something that's going to be for using for ores. Especially as I start running out of ores to line up and everything. It's going to be good to have, you know, a passive on ores. <clears throat> okay, and then they destroy the monolith. And now there's just a bunch of enemies there that cannot even get to my opponent. I can just use this thing to try to shoot over the wall. Yeah, instead of having to go face to face with those lasers, I'm gonna just do this. Booster, shoot grenades, teleport back to the door. Um, I'll just do the grenade turret. It looks like to repair twice more points than expected. One more option is available. Let's do that. Or is under attack. Player weapon damage is double. You know, bounce with the laser. Go with that. It's not still under. That laser that really can't do anything. Even right there. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna put a laser turret here. Honestly, the laser turrets might end up actually being able to like destroy the orbs. Yeah. <laughs> if I give them enough bounces, they probably wouldn't be able to destroy the orbs. I wouldn't be that surprised. Especially if I can increase the bounces on it and everything, like, I think it's gonna be pretty good. That also buffs the, uh, the laser turret as well. So, I think that's gonna be pretty nice. But yeah, even in terms of mining, it does seem to be pretty well. Because it only takes three shots, and it fires fairly quickly. Faster than maybe the grenades? I don't know, it just it does seem better. Like it could just be me wanting it to be better, and it's not actually better, but it think it is. Okay. I need to go quick with this. So I gotta go soon. I can't I can't talk to you. Things are going well, things are going well. Oh, that was probably a bad idea breaking that. It's fine. Uh, Ooh, 
do a bit of this. Kind of carving out the area a little bit. I'm actually gonna leave that there. And we will put... Put that there. Fill this area up with okay. How do I get out of here is a very good question that I don't fully know the answer to. I think I just gotta wait for this for them to destroy it and then I can obviously make my way out of here afterwards. I think that's my best. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna use that thing. Oh, actually, this works pretty well. Just shoot the laser down and for the best. You'll probably hit an enemy somewhere. Uh, just laser arrows. Let me open this area. But you know what? We're also gonna open up this. This spot right here. And this part right there. So we can kind of carve out this spot, I guess. Where's the. Isn't this second monolith? Trying to get those guys and just kill them off little by little. Some of the enemies can't hit them, but other enemies can, and that's not good. So yeah, I'm gonna start breaking open the area a little bit more. And hopefully that should actually help my guys more than hinder them. I think in the long run. Oh, okay, I'm dead. Oh my gosh! That was a lot of reason. Holy crap. 
put a tink in there. Okay, you really want to destroy the tink first. Get out of the way, so I can put this thing in there. Okay, I need to, yeah, carve this area out a little bit more. Leave me alone. Go away. Should be producing a good amount of healing stuff. I'm gonna put that there. Kind of carve out that area. Okay, and of course, apparently uh, didn't feel like it. Pretty good. Definitely a bit worried. Uh, I'm gonna put another one down. I actually am extremely worried about the health of these things because I feel like they're getting destroyed very quickly. A lot faster than I would like them to get destroyed. Oh yeah, and I also have this thing I was gonna say, if I need resources, I guess I could just come up here and collect all this.
That not that barely not doing anything. Oh, that's a fully repair thing. I was thinking that would be a trap. Yeah, so this should hopefully be producing enough healing orbs to keep this thing going. I guess we'll find out. Oh, nice. It gets broken when it's just doing goes through a portal trap. Um, the assist link gets broken when assisted minion goes through a portal trap. Oh, okay. I'll go with that. I don't, I'm not a big fan of any of those things, but I guess I'll take it. Um, oh, the mind pack. Okay. Ah. Okay, well, I think that's going to be it for today's video of uh, Destroy the Monolith. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. I mean, the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.